Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about a new feature that allows you to detect anomalies in your data. So many of you know that in Acumatica, our data can be represented in multiple different ways. The most common and the most convenient and flexible way is the generic inquiry. Now there's a lot of these inquiry screens that are presented out of the box that Acumatica ships with. The one we're looking at right now is the sales profitability analysis. However, you'll see inquiry screens throughout the software. For example, invoices, customers, vendors, bills, sales orders. But you see it a lot for the replacement of your traditional form-based reports because they're just so flexible. And for more information on inquiry screens, you can find a lot of our videos in our library. But in this video, we're going to talk about how you can now detect anomalies within your data set, where we can analyze this data using AI and detect certain anomalies, certain things that don't pass the smell test. Before I continue, only 15% of you are subscribed. Hit that subscribe button now to get notified about new videos and events. The first thing we need to do is enable the feature. Now, depending upon your license, you may or may not have access to this. You can contact us for more information on that. We'll search for it. And you can see the first one is general ledger anomaly detection. We could do that there as well, but we'll continue ahead. And what we're looking for is the detection of numeric anomalies in generic inquiries. That's this feature. So we'll click modify, we'll check it, and we'll enable it. Now, if we go back and we edit our generic inquiry, you'll see a checkbox called detect anomalies. So we'll check that. And as soon as we do, you can see a new tab called anomaly detection where you can configure what you want to detect. So our value for analysis could be any number of these numeric fields. So I'm concerned about maybe the margin percentage. So I'll select that and I'll give it a timeline to analyze. So we'll select date. That'll be the timeline. That's the field. And then here we have the ability to group by a certain field. So if we select this, we can hit the plus button and say, maybe we want to analyze by customer and group all those records together to see maybe there's a certain customer where there's a pattern where the margin percentage is going off. But in this case, we're gonna uncheck that and we'll start this way. Now there's two different ways to get this started. If we click on view inquiry and we go back to the inquiry screen, you'll see a new button, assuming you have the rights, to detect anomalies. You notice we have only one inquiry screen throughout Acumatica that has this feature turned on. That's why it's showing this. So we'll select it. We'll click process. And we have one warning. And here you can see that it's just not scheduled to run yet. So let's go in and change that so we can force it on demand. We'll go back to our inquiry setup. And instead of update frequency weekly, we'll change it to on demand. Save it. We'll go back, select our inquiry again and click process. Now what you see here is that the data has been uploaded for analysis. So now through our schedule, the system can automatically execute the next step, but we're gonna do it here ourselves. And you can see now it's running a process to calculate for any anomalies. And depending upon your data set, this may take some time for it to come back with results. Now, after waiting a few minutes, I can see that it says ready to download. So we'll execute the next step. And now we can see that it's completed. And you notice you see a little message here that says that it found medium anomaly rows 17.
Nothing significant though. So let's go back to our inquiry screen and we'll refresh. What you see here, if you scroll over to the right, are a few new columns. So you can see the anomaly severity. You could take that and you could filter by it. So these two records, for example, are medium severity. We scroll over to the left, we look at the margin, you can see that we made 100% on it. And Acumatica's anomaly detection is saying, well, that's kind of an issue. Let's take a look at that. What we're expecting here is a 34.21 margin percentage. Now keep in mind, we're not grouping by anything. So the system is essentially averaging everything. Now you could check this box here to say, I reviewed that anomaly and therefore that could remove it from your filter when you're doing analysis. You may create a filter bucket here that says, show me all of the records where I haven't reviewed them, but they have a severity of medium or maybe greater. You could do that. Now let's go back and rerun this, but let's change the settings so that we're grouping by customer. So we'll go back to the generic inquiry and we'll click on the plus button and we'll select customer. Now you could skip empty groups if you'd like to. So for example, you have a customer that just doesn't have a value in there. You can have the system skip it. But in this case, we're going to save that setting. We'll go back to our detect anomaly screen and let's just refresh that. We'll select our inquiry again and click process. And we're gonna go through our multiple steps here. So let me do that. Notice the columns of information here. It's now showing that five groups have been uploaded and 31 groups have been skipped. So you'll see that information in terms of how the system is analyzing that data. And now we're ready to download. So now we've brought that information and those values to the new columns that we have in the generic inquiry. And we brought them in there so we can take a look. So I'm gonna go back, we'll refresh. And you'll notice everything's turned yellow. We have a warning here and that might be our anomaly. But what we see is some sort of message about the previous group and the current group. But if we scroll over to the right, what you'll see now is you see this margin percentage, but you also see it changing. It's changing based on the different customer and what it expects the margin to be. These two customers are generally getting the same margin, probably because they're getting sold the same stuff and there's no special pricing. But Star America Toys has a different margin. And you'll notice that we create a filter here and we'll say medium and then we'll copy this we'll say severe we have two of them now we have two different tabs I didn't think we had severe but let's click on medium and now we can analyze these records and determine why these particular margins weren't made in the best interest of the company, or at least weren't following the pattern. Now, keep in mind that with generic inquiries, you can open up the record right from here. So if we wanna take a look at the sales order and see more additional information, of course, we can see the salesperson here, so we can talk to the salesperson about it, but opening up this particular sales order will be beneficial when I'm having this discussion with this particular salesperson. So <clears throat> lastly, if we want to schedule this so that the process runs automatically, we just see the data. Maybe we need to see the data every day. We could maybe run this at night so that it's ready for our users in the morning. If we go over to detect anomalies. Here's where you can see you could set up the schedule and add it. And of course, Acumatica scheduling system, you can define what records you want so for example, what generic inquiries you wanna run 
based on the schedules. You can create multiple schedules and to make that determination. We go over to conditions. We can say the inquiry equals, and we can search for the inquiry that we want to run. Of course, we only have one that's enabled for it. So make sure you select one that actually is enabled because it's not going to automatically filter just the ones that have anomaly detection turned on. So that's how we detect anomalies in inquiry screens now. You can use this for your data people to take a look at, for your managers to look and see where things are not falling into the pattern. You can analyze whatever numeric field you want. You can group by different fields to make sure that those anomalies are detected based on a certain group of records how to execute the process and go through the stages. And finally, look at maybe scheduling this process so that the data is there and your users can start to review the records. So thanks so much for watching this video on detecting generic inquiry anomalies. And if you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.